What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another LS Drug Wars DLC car customization and review vehicle. Today we're looking at the Tundra, the Tundra Panther or Panthe. <laughs> 2.1 million dollars right here. Uh, very good looking car to be exact. Um, is this a new brand to the game? I think it is. I don't think this brand exists in the game. So, uh, according to GTA Wiki online, I will post it in the description below, this car is highly based off of the 2017 Alpine A110. A notable difference is the headlights. It says we're taking, I have the car right here, I already purchased it. it. says the headlights were derived or taken from the Porsche 718982, while the lower fog lights and LEDs are taken from a 2012 Alpine A110-50. Okay. And there's even more noticeable things. Uh, rather than separated, the taillights could be derived from the Porsche 911. Let me just walk back here. So, a lot of Porsche and Alpine influences on this car. And again, like I said, I can post it in the comments below if you'd like to check that out. Or the description. Wow, can't talk. Armor can be 50. Uh, why not? We'll put it 50. Brakes. I wish it was right outside. We could see this a lot better, but that's all right. We'll customize it in the dark. Uh, race brakes. Bumper options. Not even looking at a picture, guys. I just want to build this however I think it should look and How many cars we'll you go got with that. I kind of like the lip so hopefully it doesn't like dig into the ground. It's not really close to the ground at the moment but you just never know. I kind of like the lip for the carbon splitter look and you only get that with the ones with the extended plates on them. So we can get the trim carbon super splitter or this one the racer splitter. Whatever you desire. Technology kind of like this one better. Go with that one. Rear diffuser. Oh, there's that trim again. The trim competition. Carbon competition diffuser. I think that's it on that one. Uh, but we're going to go with that. Just to match the front. So right there. Life is hard engine is 33.5. The engine's in the rear. How do I know that? Watch. Boom. There you go. In case you're wondering, I guarantee it's back there. This so, the all right. Engine I like to work on. She likes to work on rear ones. All right. Exhaust pipes in the back there. We can go with the tuner looks right there. The blue ones. Tuner again. I kind of like these square ones, but they kind of do stick out a mile long. Damn it, why do they always got to stick out like that? Um, I kind of like the blue ones, but I ain't going to lie to you guys. That's yeah, they go with them. Real options. Whoa! What? What is that? What is... What? Yep. Mm-hmm. Hood options do the hood pins uh, typically you can't can't open up the hood if it's there um, not necessarily you would ever want to open the hood but typically you can't do that when the hood pins are on a lot of customization making huh? decisions is stressful I kind of like this just flat can we get flat with like barely any ventilation you get that weird one this one's not too bad I like it Looking I good. like it. we'll go with that one racy I don't know uh, top one there we go interior seats okay so you can change the seats and that's ooh, and a giant roll bar can you make this into a full-blown racing car so checking out a picture online so it, this can be a racing vehicle um you can put a ton of crow bar decisions is stressful a crow bar wow you can put a lot of roll bar 
Uh, I kind of like it just the black seats, um, not the roll bar crazy right there. So, um, I guess we'll just go with the first ones. I might, didn't even, I might even keep this car red, to be honest with you. It looks pretty good. We'll see what happens. I like how it says interior and then there's only seats, which is kind of effed up. I see there's also a trim there, so I'm assuming that's your primary. So I guess we'll find out later down the road. Stock white, I'm guessing, or Xenons. I guess we'll just keep them stock. Put a, a neon kit on if Bubbles you'd like. We'll come back something? to delivery options. Louvers. Okay. That's different. Chrome louvers. Red. They got these weird ones. Chrome tuner louvers. Okay. Why does it look so weird? Then again, I don't get these either. Whatever. We're putting them on. Time. Putting them on. That means we're going to grill and chrome. Girl there. Is looking good. All right. So that was louvers, plate options. Yeti. Sure. Respray will come back to roof options. You can do the shark fin, one little shark fin. Primary, secondary. It's first time I've seen primary. Uh, all secondary GT roof. Carbon, alternate carbon. So it takes out the top it. there. Interesting. You make it look like a convertible, but it's not. Uh, it might be actually. I don't think so. I don't think so though. It doesn't say convertible or coupe or anything. So uh, you put a giant sunroof in there. Huh. I don't. I don't know, guys. Sure, Body why not? Let's put it on. Driver. I don't even know if I like those cat chrome in the back. To be honest, ah, <laughs> uh, this car is starting to look hideous. Uh, and that secondary is horrible because it's orange. That's what you get when you get a stock color. Let's just scroll through these. Oh man, there's all kinds of them. What's this one? Tuner Super. Okay, a little bit. Can we see it better from over here? Maybe. This looks better. We'll go with that one. Trim street skirt. Would it stick out as good as that one? Kind of matches the you like the, the tuner look, I guess. So we'll go with that. Skirt, sun strips, black, secondary, carbon. We'll just leave them off for now. Spoiler options. So it looks like there's already a spoiler there, but obviously it's not going to help the traction any. So. Why is there never a good one? Life is hard when you can have anything. Why is there never a good one? And when I mean a good one, I mean that lip that's already there. Why can't you just give us a little lip? <laughs> we're going with that. Pretty. We're going with that one. I God. Drop her down. We're gonna drop her down. Give her that little that camber competition look. Looking. Transmission 40, turbo 50. Wheel options. We'll go back to. Windows, you can dark them out. Sure, Looks why not? Alrighty, I've been patiently waiting for it to get a little bit brighter outside so we can actually see this car. The lighting, you know, I love the CEO garage, but the lighting in here is not the greatest. I could have easily have drove into like an LSC or something, but uh, let's Anything just keep I going. So, Anything you know, the customization is done. I might end up taking all that chrome off on the back. It, starting to look hideous but um this is my crew color right now for some reason i really like it on this car again people are probably like Ew, what is that you know i don't know it's an orange color i made last week basically like a creamsicle so um no rush at all. but that's not what I, I wanted to see was like this like i think these colors look really good the chameleons on here um Again, they'd look way better probably in the sunlight. But even this orange purple pop, I like. I don't know. I just I, like I said, I want to do something red, but at the same time, I kind of like the orange red mixture. If you look over the, I think it's the top or there, you can barely see the purple if flip. You can think it. It's in there. I, I promise. You go full with dark purple. I love the chameleon colors. They always look so good on these certain cars. So, especially with cars with a lot of curves. Our lines, anyways. So this looks pretty cool too. You get the red, red prismatic, black prismatic. 
all pure white, pure matic, which is similar to the baby blue. And then we have the dark holographic, is the most recent one they came out with, which matches this one pretty much just a faded one. How many cars so, you have in this garage again? Yeah, I mean, you can go red if you wanted. Um, blue looks pretty cool. I kind of like this, though. I really like the orange. Um, the red is nice, but it's very dark. Even, like, when it gets brighter outside, it's still going to be very dark, so... I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go with the orange job. flip. And then the secondary will also be that, because why not? Boom, orange Girl flip. Is looking good. Which makes me want to change so all that chrome out, right? Because there's really nothing else chrome on this car. Um, crew emblem would go right there on the side. So we could go with chrome wheels. Uh, maybe that would offset the weird louvers on the back and the uh, grill in the front. But we haven't checked out his livery, so let's check out the livery. So we got white stripes all the way through. I'm guessing if the sunroof wasn't well, there, obviously you'd probably have them all the way through. Technology and then we have the stripe yeah. color. What? What is that? Stripes? Oh, it's on the back. Okay, just one stripe across the back. Interesting. All right. Um, then we have tundra or tundra stripes across the side, all in white. Actually, pretty cool. It looks like the lettering is the color of your car. Pretty cool. The uh. The outs outside of the, the lettering. Uh, you got the tricolor stripe, red, white, and blue. Life is hard. Snazzy, you have snazzy. Uh, white stripes again. White and black stripes. Very racing look. Go, oh man, they go all throughout the car, even the back. That's pretty cool. Pretty snazzy. Uh, we got the yellow sketch speed. Kind of matches my car. Oh, now we got the six on the side. Cool. Uh, racer two to two tone. Okay. Oh, Not a fan of that one. Got hard. the camo. Just pulling the camo of your car out. The bulk. Bulko racer. Bulko racer. I'm trying to look for you there. They'd be like right there. Not too bad. The GTO racer. This one's kind of similar to the real car. Um, a little bit. But we have the GTO racer. It's half and half. You get the chameleon on one side and the blue and white on the other. But I think we're going to go with that right now. We can always take it off. So, But what I was thinking about doing... Um, we're going to keep all that. Was, uh, I was thinking about we should put chrome wheels on. Hmm. I'm going to stick with those for now. We'll see how it looks when we drive it out of here. Um, that's it. And it's finally bright enough, so let's take her out for a test drive. See you next time. Right, taking her out for the first spin. Ooh, you see that purple? You see that purple flip right there? You see it in the front of the hood. It's actually not too bad. I still don't know about those chrome lures on the back. Wondering how good she is. She definitely has that big booty on the back. <laughs> the wide, I like it. See how low it sticks out, the wide tires? Uh, I like the look of this car. I definitely love the look. This thing handles very smoothly. Really smooth. Feels really good. Still made it. Look at that. She seems kind of. She seems kind of. She schemes. Wow. She seems kind of sluggish on acceleration, but then she does get up to speed pretty good. So I don't know. I'm never, never good on this, but definitely feels good. So I'll definitely. Uh, we're gonna drag trip it later. Post that video up. So, Let's see what she compares to. There we go. You got the frunk and the. And not so much as the sniff. So, anyways, that's gonna be it on this video. Hopefully, it's not too long. Um, I'm still not sure about those chrome louvers in the back. 
but the chrome in the front doesn't look too bad and it really matches the rims. The chrome on the spoiler isn't bad either. The chrome on those louvers, so might have to go to the other weird looking one because that, that, uh, that's just an eyesore for me. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. Have a good one. Peace.